Hello, my name is Marcus. Welcome to Magic Cover to Cover. In my copy of the Tarbell Course in Magic, Volume 1, there are three unchaptered sections. The first is entitled, It's a Privilege, written by Lewis Tannen. In this section, Tannen introduces us to Harlan Tarbell. The second is a preface written by Tarbell in which he gives a brief history of the Tarbell course in magic itself. The third and probably most important for our purposes is entitled The Magician's Secrets. In this, Tarbell reminds us of the power of secrecy. As magicians, the secret is the power. As performers, one must also be entertaining. However, without the secrets, we cease to be magicians. After these three sections, we finally come to the meat of the Tarbell Course in Magic, the lessons. I want you to go with me into faraway lands and into the long ago to get a glimpse of the beginnings of the magic art. This is how Harlan Tarbell begins Lesson 1, The History of Magic. Although this lesson does not contain a single magic effect, he does cover such topics as magicians in the Bible, Zoroaster, the magic of Greece and Rome, Merlin, the beginnings of sleight of hand, and a myriad of other topics in religious and magical history. He talks of charms, spells, and superstition, alchemists and doctors, and finally, the rise of modern magic as we know it today. While some may debate Tarbell's historical accuracy, it is still a fun reading. Lesson 2, like Lesson 1, does not contain a single magic effect. There is, however, a massive amount of information important to all performing magicians. Angles of visibility, misdirection, the power of suggestion and influence are all covered, as well as advice on nationalists, patter, and practice. Tarbell ends the lesson with a few short essays covering such topics as how magic helps develop the personality, aids in business and sales, helps you make a lasting impression, and is a wonderful hobby. Some of the things that Tarbell mentioned should be remembered by all magicians. For example, maintain naturalness in performing, practice makes perfect, never overlook the smallest detail, and never repeat a trick for the same audience. These first two lessons are not quite what most people expect when opening a copy of the Tarbell Course in Magic. Obviously, Tarbell felt that they were very important. By placing these two lessons at the beginning of the course, Tarbell sets the stage for what is to follow, an engrossing, intellectually stimulating, and pleasurable hobby or profession with a rich and diverse history. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time when we begin Lesson 3, Sleight of Hand with Coins. <laughs>